and welcome to this DroidScript tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build your very own Password Vault app. It is going to include fingerprint recognition with a backup um, pin uh, dialog and it's going to make use of the premium feature, the Material UI tool set. set. And just to show you um, it in action, we have a Password Vault here. Uh, my fingerprint um, recognition is not going to fail and we're going to show you the backup password just so you can see it working and um, nice uh, secure password there and that is going to bring me through into my list here where then I can store my common um, passwords or things like that for different applications the app will allow you to um, Add it using a FAB button, floating action button, where we'll be able to add a new password. We'll also be able to edit existing passwords, or we'll be able to remove selected, like that. And we'll also be able to edit our master password with, through a little menu up here and close. And that's it, very sim, um, nice little application. I'm gonna show you how to build it um, in um, a series of two or three um, steps, three uh, tutorials. And what I, what I will do is just give you snapshots of the code rather than type all of the code in, uh, as it will be probably very long and boring that way. Uh, so let's get started and we're gonna, um, Let's look at the code on how to build the this list in particular. We're going to start with this list, then we're going to build on to um, the finger recognition and the pin code um, on top so we can um, run, run the app at each stage. Okay, let's start with um, a new uh, JavaScript app. I'm going to call it Password Vault. And we're just going to choose a simple template and press OK. Now this is our basic app which is created automatically. Great. When you run it, you get hello. So what we're going to do now is we're going to remove all of this because we don't need any of it. And I'm going to copy and paste some code in and I'll run through with you what it does. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of code added here. So let's just start at the top. Basically, I start with the comment, calling it the application version. Uh, it's just best practice to do that, I think. Next is to set up material UI config because we're going to use the material UI tool set for this application. So we need to get that set up. We're using a light theme and we're going to use a um, material UI. Now in the on start function, I have replaced the contents with a call to a function called create password list because that is essentially that's what we want to do. So we're creating the layout which is going to build our passwords. And if I just run this application, I can quickly show you what I mean. So we have our list, password list. So this is essentially what we're going to create and build. Um, and it's what we're going to get to once we pass the fingerprint recognition. So how is that created? Well, we need to create an absolute um, type of layout. Okay, we're going to start with the um, page header. And we do that, we're going to create a linear control uh, layout, which is a container. Inside that, we're going to use the material UI control called create app bar, which is going to create our Android style um, header for us. And we're going to pass through a page title. Uh, we don't need a leading icon, but we do want a um, an icon on the far right. 
uh, material uh, UI comes with a list of icons, one of them being the more vert, which is the three um, vertical dots. And on that, we want to add a touch event. And the app bar comes with uh, set on control touch, which will be triggered when you, we press the um, vertical icons. And what we want to do is to have a menu shown with a master password and close menu option. And so that is what we're going to do next. We create a short menu to display when we click the more vert icon. So we're going to use the create menu um, with icon control. And in that we pass through our options that we want and a icon, material icon, um, font icon. And we're going to give it our um, width and size and, and the final one is the position. So top right is where we want it. We want to display it once we um, press the button. Now, one thing I've um, just flashed over, I didn't t talk about, is this um, height here. Now, what, we, what we're doing here is actually getting the height of our control and we're adding a little bit more to it because we'll use that in a minute uh, a little bit further down, actually use it here because our um, header bar, and I'll show you by running it, sometimes it's easier to see when you uh, see it in practice. Right, this, so this is our linear header bar, but it's sitting on an absolute um, layout. And the next one we want is this password list, which is gonna actually sit in a scroller control. But the password list, we want to set our um, padding, top padding, and we wanna set it to the height of this plus a little bit more. So the contents of the list, our list starts down here, which allows us then, because the scroller, create scroller, which we need, um, we need to use the control, create scroller control container for our list, because if our list items, if we, if we have more passwords than visible space here, if we have passwords that go beyond here, we want to be able to scroll through them. And in order to do that, we need a, a container called a create, um, create scroller control. So we create one of them, tell it to height and width, maximum uh, size. And then inside that, we're going to create a password list control, which we there, which we need to give some padding in order for it to display here. Little confusing maybe, but when you see it, it's it's not. Um, it's more confusing to talk about it. Right, going back to the code then. So we've created our menu and now we've created our scroller. And I've just been talking about and inside the scroller is our password list control. And again, that's the top Pad, padding here is uh, what we've set here to allow us to give that space. So onto the actual password list itself. And again, we're going to use a material UI component, my control, and it's going to be a list uh, control, and we can use create list modern for that. Now, what we need to do for that is pass it an array of um, strings. And in order to do that, we've created a function to get that password list here. We give it a, a height and a width, and then we need to pass it some options. And material tells us, or tells the list to create in each list item, if I go back to the list, material is gonna, it's gonna produce a material font here. So we've called that there and it's and it just uh, lock by um, uh, here. And we've also said to make it selectable so we can then press each one and um, do something about it. And selectable means you can select each um, item by pressing the um, icon. If you're ever stuck with um, anything on here and you wonder what to do, 
Um, I do suggest you go to the docs here, material UI. Um, if you go list dialogs here, create list dialog. Oh, that's not lists. That's where we need to go. Create list modern, and that's where we are at the moment. So there's in, there's a lot of documentation here being created, which is which is great. And as I was showing, this is the list. It says um, an array of objects, elements, and uh, these are the options here. Um, for example, a selectable one. So this is your list of objects. It's objects. Yes, object. I said object of strings. I apologize. It's actually a list of um, objects. And each one has a title. You pass through some uh, various things. So this one has title and body. The next one, we've got title, body, and an image, for example. And the, the next one is a title, body, image, and right icon. So we're not actually going to use um, those, but we have a title, a body, and the image, I believe, is going to be which is what we've called the padlock. Um, more on that um, later on, further down, I will um, explain all of that. So let's go back to the list and we have assigned two um, events to the list. One is um, set on select, which is triggered when you press the icon here, when you select. And the other one is set on touch, which is obviously when you touch an icon uh, list item, we want it to do something. In this instance, edit the password that's on there. For the select, what we want to do is hide or show this button, basically. So if there are um, more selected than we show it, if there, um, there's nothing selected, we hide it. And then we add the control to our password list um, container. OK, now what we're going to do is we are adding a button to remove selected items. So this is the button that we want, which is remove selected. And so it's we're using another material UI control here. And it's called create button raise. That's just the styling there. We give it a title and a size. We're setting some margins just for a little bit of visual um, interest. We set on touch events. And what we want to do is remove selected. So you could say selected items uh, if we want to. So we're just going to get the selected items and remove them, which I will again cover very shortly. The other thing we want to do is give it an initial state of being hidden. So when you run the application, you don't see it. So when we run the application, it's gone. And that is important because obviously we don't want the button to appear as and when we just want the button when we've got um, something to, to remove. OK, add floating button to add new password to list. Right, this is the floating action button, which appears in a lot of Android apps in the bottom right hand corner. And it is a control that is given to us in the material UI con and control set. And it's created using create fab with a title. And that's the title of the actual icon we want to use, the font icon. We can set icon color and give it an event called set on touch. And what we want to do for this, we actually want to create a dialog to allow us to add a new password to our list. And again, I will um, touch on this event very shortly. What else are we doing now? We are now adding the controls to our Containers, so we had the scroll to the uh, pa password list. Um, sorry, the, the password list layout to the scroller, and then we're going to add the scroller to our container. We're also then going to add our header to our container, and then 
passwordless container we add to the actual application layout.